we're fighting an industrial food economy that doesn't like local food to be cheap. But I think we're proving that it can be done. And I think that we're proving that a community can decide that that's how they want it. Middlebury Foods started just about three years ago. The idea was, what if we rethought and kind of changed how people in Addison County experience their food system and how they get their food? We're, we're kind of trying to do two things at once. First, we're trying to streamline the grocery shopping process for people, because ultimately we can't set up a whole grocery store that people can show up to and pick exactly what they want. Uh, but what we can do is set up a variety of streamlined options. We believe it's not just getting the cheapest possible food, but there's something else to accessibility. And when people can buy food from their neighbors at still really affordable prices, then that means a lot to them. On a delivery day, we caravan over to our storage unit in Shoreham, Vermont Refrigerated Storage, and we lay out all of our food, which is in wholesale boxes. Then as a team, we, we pack hundreds of bags we count everything, we make sure we have all of our local um, value-added products and all of our bags and all of our frozen meats and all of our coolers and then we pack it all away and we ship it to delivery sites across Addison County. It started with just a couple customers, a couple products. We've gotten to the point where now we have 34 different products and we're sourcing from about 13 or 14 different producers in Vermont and we're delivering about 10 to 12,000 pounds of food every month. Delivery sites of customers come in, they give us their name, we give them their receipt, and then one of our volunteers or a couple of our volunteers pick up their food for them and walk them to their car. It's really kind of a, a dynamic process because not only we're we saving people money, but, but genuinely when a customer comes to pick up their groceries for the month, they're there for, you know, between three to five minutes normally, 10 minutes at the very most. And so that's really valuable to us because that's time that they can spend with their families. For a lot of us, you know, we want to get to the farm stand or we'd like to drive to the farm down the road and get the eggs or get the meat, but the reality is you don't always have time to do that. So the fact that they kind of do the research for you, find great local products and you can just come and pick it up is wonderful. And the other reality, it can be very expensive. So the fact that they are are buying direct and that there's no grocery store in between, it means that their pricing is really good. So I would say um, it's beneficial because it makes it good quality food that's accessible and accessible to, to a lot of people. The way that Addison County has embraced this thing so quickly and so without reservations means that our food system is in need of a change and people are looking for new and better and more just choices. Mm -hmm.